perfect. That looks great. Good. I saw a need in communities to rebuild houses, to rebuild neighborhoods, to rebuild cities. It's all a domino effect. And once you start tearing down these old buildings, you take the history out and you have vacant lots, people just think, Nobody cares, so why should we care? And you know, I always say caring is contagious. And they're like, she's out there doing it, we're gonna go do it. It takes a lot to get grant money into your neighborhoods. Usually it's a very archaic process. You have to write these long grant proposals and, and submit it and then you have to wait and all this and it's, People don't like to do it because it's it's not fun and it's it's kind of a pain. And whoever gets stuck doing that, you're like, yeah, you do that. They've made it so simple to where people can say, vote for our project. They go online, they submit it. It's a real quick photo, a few blurb, essay, and they just submit it. And then people across the country get to vote. And I don't want anyone to take this for granted because $10,000 in a grant is a huge amount of money. I use a torch in so many ways. It, it makes my job more efficient because it's, it's, a, it's a faster way to do it. You can use it to remove paint. Um, you can use it to, you know, you got a nut or a bolt that you're removing anyways and you're not going to reuse and it's not coming off, you torch it. You know, obviously plumbing repairs. I mean, if you've paid a plumber, you've seen a torch being used in your house. It's the poof, 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 and then you know they're almost done. Yeah. Oh, wow. There we go. Mom. Okay.